How's it going everyone? This is DJ. Amazon has released a new feature called Auto Offload and it started to roll out to Fire TV devices as we speak. Now not all of you may have received this new feature yet and some of you may not receive it at all. This new app offload setting is supposed to help you free up storage space without the need to uninstall the app completely. In this video we will take a closer look at this new auto offload feature to see what it's all about, how it works, who may not receive this new setting and why not, and if you should leave it on or turn it off. So let's get right to it. One of the biggest complaints about Fire TV devices is the obvious. There's not a lot of storage space available, except for the new second gen Fire TV Stick 4K Max, which was just released in September 2023, and the Fire TV Cube, which both come with 16 gigs of storage. Before this new offload feature, the only way to gain back storage space was to actually uninstall some apps, even the ones that you may want to use again someday, or the other way is to connect an external drive using an OTG cable. With this new app offload feature, which is enabled by default by the way, Amazon says that if your device is low on storage, which they do not specify what they consider low storage, the auto offload feature will partially remove some apps that you haven't used in the last 60 days. What else is also unknown is, what if you do use all the apps that you have installed? Will it still offload any of your apps if you're low on storage or not? Do you need to have app uses data on for it to know which apps you use? What about the sideloaded apps? So far, I haven't seen an offload option for any of the sideloaded apps that I installed, but will they get uninstalled since all the other apps are being used? These are just a few questions that I have that need some answers. So let's take a closer look on how does the offload feature actually work. When an app gets offloaded, what it does is, it removes the application data, which is the app itself that you downloaded from the App Store, and the cache data, which is temporary files like image thumbnails. They do help the app run a little faster and smoother, but you can clear the cache at any time without affecting the functionality of the app. What it does keep though is the user data files, which holds all the information that you change in the app, like your username, password, profiles, etc. By keeping the data files, if you want to use that app again, once you reinstall it, there's no need to enter all your login information or any other settings that you changed before. It will all be there like it was never gone. Now when you uninstall an app on the other hand, it removes all three data files. Once an app has been offloaded, a smoke cloud icon appears on the app icon indicating that it was offloaded. The offloaded app was still showing managed install applications as you can see in here. All the apps have been offloaded, they're still showing here with the cloud icon on them. And also if you go back on the home screen and go over to all apps here and click on it. All the apps have been offloaded, they have the little cloud icon in the top right corner to indicate that they've been offloaded. Now for some odd reason, if we come over here, if you go down to recently used apps, Analyte has been offloaded. But as you can see here, it does not have the cloud icon on it to let you know that it's been offloaded. And also if we go to the navigation bar, same thing over here. Wireless File Manager, YouTube, Analyte, all three of these were offloaded, but you don't have the cloud icon on here. If you prefer to handle which apps get offloaded yourself, you can turn off the auto offload setting by going to your settings, Applications, Scroll down to auto offload and click on it and it turns it off. Another way is if you go down to my fire TV about click on storage and in here we'll find the same setting in here. You can click on it and it turns it on or off. Both settings will do the same thing. They just have it in two different locations for some reason, but it will do the same thing. To manually select which apps you want to offload, you can do that in a few different ways. One way is if you go to your settings, applications, manage install applications, and in here you find the app that you want to offload, you click on it, select offload, 
and you got a confirmation screen here and all you got to do is just confirm it and that's it now a couple of other ways to use the offload option manually which in a way is a little faster than going to the settings applications manage install applications and finding the app in there is one way is from the home screen so if you go over here and select an app press the three line button on your remote the menu button you will see an offload option in here the second way is if you go to your apps over here all apps click on it and find the app in there press the menu button and you see the offload option again in there now the main difference between going to the settings or doing it the last two ways i showed you if i select offload here it will tell you this app is going to be offloaded and it's going to free up some storage space it doesn't tell you how much where if we go back to our settings applications manage install applications and select the app in here you click on it and select offload as you can see here it will say offloading this app will free up 43.94 megabytes of storage that's the main difference between the two ways they both do the same thing you're going to offload an app from here but in a way it's kind of good to know how much space you're gaining before you offload the app you may just want to pick another one that may give you more space now some of you will not get this new offload feature if you have a first or a second gen fire tv stick which is running fire os 5 you will not be getting this new setting also, if you have a kid's profile, or if you add a kid's profile to your Fire TV device, then the app offload option will be removed. Even though you will still see the auto offload option in your settings, which sounds like a bug here, you will not be able to manually offload an app. Personally, I will recommend turning this auto offload feature off, and then manually select which apps you want to offload. So what do you guys think? Will you leave it on, turn it off? Do you think it's a good feature? Will you use it to offload an app or completely uninstall the app to get the most space back? Let me know in the comment section below. I would love to know what you think. Well, that should do it for today. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I will answer everybody's question as soon as possible. If this video helped you in any way, please give me a thumbs up. It does let YouTube know you like what I do here and it does help my channel grow. Also subscribe to my channel and click on the little bell icon to be notified of any new videos that I upload. Thank you for watching. This is DJ. Till next time.